Dallas first aired on April 2, 1978 on CBS. It followed the Ewing family, the exploitative owners of an oil company. Initially, the show was simply a five-part miniseries that aired late at night and had rather low ratings. However, it performed better than expected, and the creators decided to make it into a full series. It eventually aired for a total of 14 seasons until its end on May 3, 1991, making it one of the longest-running hour-long TV shows in American history. A total of 357 episodes aired throughout the show. Dallas was also so popular it inspired a spin-off series, Knott's Landing, which also ran for 14 seasons. There was even a short-lived revival series which aired from 2012 to 2014 for a total of three seasons. Audience members could always count on Dallas to be filled with drama and excitement, as well as interesting plot points that raised a lot of moral questions. It was also well known for its nail-biting cliffhangers. Even though the show ended decades ago, it still remains popular in many households and is still available to watch on syndication. Sadly, because the show aired some time ago, not every cast member is still alive. In today's video, we're going to take a look at which cast members of Dallas you didn't know died, as well as what the remaining cast members are up to today. Barbara Bel Geddes Barbara Bel Geddes played the role of the Ewing family matriarch, Miss Ellie. While she was the first cast member of the show to be signed on to Dallas, she unfortunately did not spend a lot of time on the show because she suffered from many health issues. For a few seasons, her character was even replaced by a different actor, Donna Reed, while she underwent heart surgery. She was already a famous actor before signing on to the show, and her presence was actually the reason that her fellow actor, Larry Hagman, agreed to join in the first place. She was also the only actor on the show to receive any awards for her performance, as she received a Golden Globe Award for Best Performance by an Actress in a TV Series. Barbara Bel Geddes retired from acting for good in 1990, and in 2005 she died of lung cancer. Jim Davis Jim Davis acted alongside Barbara as the patriarch of the Ewing family, Jock. He was in his late 60s when he was cast on the show, and while he was still in good health at the beginning, the creators of the show realized he may not have that much time left. He acted in four seasons of Dallas, but audience members could see on screen that his health was declining. While one of the major plot points in the earlier seasons of the show was the marital problems between Jock and Ellie Ewing, the creators knew something else had to be done. Sensing that Jim Davis's life was nearing its end, they decided to have Jock and Ellie resolve their problems and go on a second honeymoon. However, it was later revealed that while on the honeymoon, Jock died in a tragic helicopter crash. In real life, Jim Davis died in April of 1981 at age 71. Howard Keel Howard Keel was introduced as Miss Ellie's new husband, Clayton Farlow, following the death of Jock. Even though he had had a successful career, appearing in shows and films like Annie Get Your Gun, Showboat, and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, he had reached a low point in his career. Thankfully, his casting in Dallas brought his acting career back to life, and he had a great run. After the end of Dallas, he mostly stopped acting. He died in 2004 from colon cancer at age 85. Ken Kirchevel Ken Kirchevel was one of only two actors to appear in every episode of the original Dallas series. He played the role of Cliff Barnes, who was always at odds with the character J.R. Ewing. In real life, Ken Kirchevel was a sweet man who got along well with the actor behind J.R. Ewing, Larry Hagman, and also professed to be best friends with Barbara Bel Geddes. He died in 2019 of pneumonia at age 83. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about the cast of Dallas. George Kennedy Between 1988 and 91, George Kennedy was on Dallas as the character Carter McKay, who was the sworn enemy of the Ewing family. He had a reputation for his amazing acting long before his appearance on Dallas, having acted in films and shows like The Naked Gun, Airport, and Cool Hand Luke. George Kennedy's performance brought even more life and drama to Dallas, and he remained a staple of the show until its eventual end. He continued to act in various shows and movies before retiring in 2014. He died two years later at age 81 after a long history of heart disease. Patrick Duffy 
While many of the initial cast members of the show have since passed, some are still alive and well. Patrick Duffy played the role of Bobby Ewing, one of the few morally good characters in a family of exploitative oil tycoons. Much of the early show centered around his forbidden love interest with Pamela Barnes. Aside from his role in Dallas, he's also known for acting in the shows The Bold and the Beautiful, as well as Step by Step. While he's since slowed down his acting career somewhat, he's still making appearances. His most recent appearance was in an episode of NCIS in 2020. Victoria Principal Victoria Principal played the sweet love interest of Bobby Ewing, Pamela Barnes. Today, she remains one of the few cast members of Dallas who's still alive. While she was once well known for her work as an actor, she's since become an author and entrepreneur with a focus on skincare, fitness, and beauty. She retired from acting in 2004 after a TV special called Dallas Reunion, The Return to South Fork. But she's still working hard as a businesswoman and has published a total of three books. She's also done prominent work as a philanthropist. Larry Hagman Hagman played the role of J.R. Ewing, who was initially overshadowed by his older brother, Bobby Ewing, and his relationship with Pamela Barnes. However, J.R. later became a breakout character, as fans became interested in his unscrupulous dealings with the oil company. He was also one of only two characters to appear in every episode of the original Dallas series. He later reprised his role in the 2012 series. However, in 2012, he died of leukemia at age 81. His unexpected death left the writers scrambling, but they managed to create an intense murder mystery. While the mystery plot was a success, he still left his former cast members in grief. Sadly, many of the beloved cast members of Dallas are no longer alive today, but a few are. Were you more surprised to learn that Larry Hagman's death spurred one of the most exciting whodunit episodes ever on TV? Or that actress Victoria Principal, even at 71, is still acting today? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to Facts First and click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.